All right, welcome to the comic book shop of doom. I'm your host here on awesomestreaming.com. It's been a while since I did a video, and, and really, um, this is really messed up. This came out yesterday on uh, Thursday, March 31st. Okay, Marvel now is trying to get the Catholics and the Christians mad. Marvel says Jesus Christ was a mutant and the X-Men can resurrect him. <laughs> and uh, this popped up on a couple of sites. Bleeding Cool had it and Screen Rant. Marvel suggests Jesus was a misunderstood mutant. Yes, right. Really. And they're using the Exodus. That's that guy right here. They're using him kind of like, from what I read of this, it's in Immortal X-Men number one. And uh, it sounds like he's almost like a cult leader. Here he's trying to recruit Hope, and he's calling her Messiah and stuff, and she's got the Phoenix Force. And it's been years since I read X-Men comics, and I'm wondering, is this like a publicity stunt to get people to start reading X-Men again? You know, I mean, remember that old saying, assholes and elbows, you know, everybody's religion and politics are like assholes and elbows, everybody's got them. And it's like I've been saying this for a while, is um, take religion and politics and keep them out of comics and everybody would be happy. And uh, this is just another knock. You you would never see them do this with uh, Prophet Muhammad or um, the Koran or anything like that. They, they won't touch that stuff because they'll get death threats. But here they'll knock Christianity and Catholics and everything else for a cheap buck. You know, and Mar Marvel, well, it's part of Disney, and it's really going down the drain. They're pushing the gay agenda everywhere, too. I mean, everybody, and it's not as bad as DC yet, because everybody in the DC universe is gay. I mean, that, they could have their own thing. And here, one comment, and it's, it's, um, it's spam. Here, let's see if Rich Johnson has any comments down here. Well, he's a good shit stirrer for this on Bleeding Cool. He likes this controversy and all this bullshit, you know, to stir the pot. So, yeah, I could see him doing this. I could see him writing this stuff, too. You know, and they, oh, it's art. So it came out on Wednesday, Immortal X-Men number one. Five ninety nine. Yeah, five ninety nine. There you go. Two more bucks than the normal comic book. You know, the comic books now are getting more expensive than gasoline. Literally. And you get through them in about 20 minutes. So let's see what's the 41 conversations. Let's see what these guys have. They're probably anti-religious. Show comments. Uh, and then there's this blah, 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 blah. White magician and swamp thing. Now have them resurrect Muhammad, Buddha, Moses, Joseph Smith, Krishna, Laozi, and Seaman. They could be the super best X-Men. That's kind of funny. and uh, But they won't do that. They'll knock religion for Christians and everything. Uh, but yeah, th this is a bad idea just all the way around. It's like, you don't want to mess with this stuff, you know. And it's like, who do they think this is pleasing? Their core audience is, I think their core audience is probably males from late 20s to late 40s if that you know and, and maybe a few bleeding over into their 50s if they if they're still hanging around for comics i'm 48 and i'm barely reading the stuff because of the woke agenda and, and the prices the prices are too high comics are way too high this 5.99 and all this it's like give me a break but uh yeah i mean you name it but this is doesn't help comics doing this kind of crap if this is nothing but a get rich quick hey we'll get some controversy and stir up some attention on the x-men books which it's possible you know i mean who knows i don't know what their sales are i know they're not what they used to be i've heard that before and it was like when the avengers overtook their stuff you know from the movies so i don't know can x-men ever um spring back to pre- Oh, geez, when did the sales tank? Maybe 10 years ago? I don't know. 
it's hard to do. And, they, and you know, they have Chris Claremont. They have the architect that could probably rebuild that stuff. He's getting up there in age, and I don't know if he wants to work heavy, but I bet you he could give them one good X-Men title that they could build around it. He could do one comic book, and then they could just build around it, and he could supervise the other books with just even telling the guys, that's a good idea or that's a bad idea. Everybody have a good day.